it's your girl Ro here. Hey guys. So on this episode of Struggling Millennial, I just want to talk about Walmart. And if you guys have issues with Walmart, please let me know in the comments down below. I came here at nine o'clock at night on a Sunday. And yeah, there's probably not gonna be much because everybody shopped for the week earlier. But there's literally like not anything I ever need. It's always a certain type of bread. I always get like the Italian bread that's like, it isn't the most healthiest, but it's the cheapest that I can afford right now. And it tastes the best. It's of their shit, great value quality, just saying. They never have that. I had to get like this one personal item. It's wart remover, if you guys wanna know. Every time I come, they're out of freaking wart remover. I'm like, who the fuck needs wart remover? Like, Every oh, time yeah. I come, they're out of freaking wart remover. I was trying to get Sprite, like Kansas Sprite, and they're out of Kansas Sprite. Like everything else they have stocked except for Kansas Sprite. And I'm like, what? And all their freaking fruit is like bruised or moldy. I'm like, how is it even legally to sell this? Like, don't you have a stock person? They probably don't because they're so cheap and they don't hire people don't sue me but i'm just saying like their fruit is like moldy and smushed and bruised oh no girl this is unacceptable look at the bruises on this shit and then there's mold i'm like trying to get peaches that are pre-packaged and they're like moldy it's a little donut peaches because they're so delicious and yeah i couldn't get out because of that so i just got freaking bananas and then there's like nobody's paying attention i'm trying to walk and they just stop in the middle of the fucking aisle like do you guys experience that too where like you're shopping and people just stop right in front of you and don't even pay any attention like where they're going and you're like hello like i'm literally right behind you like you want me to bump into you and then you're gonna get pissed at me walmart just has gotten so much worse and it's just so amazing to me how they have let their whole store go and i went to like the nice walmart too so it's not because i went to a crappy walmart <sighs> all I can shop at is Walmart. I know I can go to different places and get stuff cheaper, but to be honest, you have to go to like many different stores. Like I can go to Target and cheaper stuff. I can go to Earth Fair and get good fruit. That's pretty decently priced, but like I don't have time in my day between work and this business. I have time to go to like three, four different stores and I'm just freaking tired. <laughs> like I am so tired. So I just go to Walmart, but I'm gonna have to start prioritizing because Walmart sucks. I can't. Do you guys have the same experience? That's just my little rant. Just trying to get through my life, um, working hard, and I just sometimes you just like can't break through. And like people older than us don't understand the struggles we have to go through, and then kids younger than us don't either because they're able to do YouTube and it's more accepted at their age than it was at our age. But yeah, so that's what I want to use this channel for is just talking about my struggles. I hope you guys can relate. I hope it helps you guys be able to relate to what I'm saying and help you guys out and just let you know that you're not alone. Me saying this out loud is like a therapy to me. And I'm not the best at like conveying my feelings and putting thoughts into words. I'm not at all, but for me, this is like a therapy. So I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Bye.